the wild world of wearable art. While your choices of clothes this morning may have been limited to cotton, nylon, or wool, the exhibit on now at the Peabody Essex Museum in Salem goes well beyond the basics, aiming to get art off the walls and onto the body. From wooden fiberglass to tailored taxidermy, arts editor Jared Bowen takes us on a tour. These aren't the works of designers trying to claw their way to the top. Instead, this is the fashioning of innovation. It's obviously anything goes, you know, the flights of fancy throughout the whole exhibit. But the real exciting thing for me, you know, from a fashion perspective, is that they have to figure out how to do it. They are the designers of WOW. That stands for World of Wearable Art, an annual design competition in New Zealand where the only constraints are the limits of the imagination and that each garment must be wearable. Winners land in a runway show like no other. We add these layers of uh, a second skin to our, our wardrobes so that we can express ourselves. So. And this is actually, without the, the more theatrical elements, elements of this are very wearable. You know, it's an easy thing to wear. I could see myself sitting, <laughs> sitting on the sofa. It looks pretty comfy. I'm, I'm actually not kidding. A hey, glamorous onesie. <laughs> Wow shifts into top gear with this vinyl and leather car, a spin on the notion that cars are often considered female. An illustrator and children's author fashioned Lady Curiosity, inspired by the popularity of tattoos in the 19th century on circus folk and society ladies alike. No animals were harmed in the making of this bra made by a professional taxidermist out of roadkill hedgehogs. Yet another taxidermist made this bra out of her dearly departed parakeets, which, she points out, can now be kept close to her bosom. When I first saw the pieces, it was, the exciting part for me was being able to see them so close and go into the detail. From plastic ties to foam, WOW is very much a story about makers and their materials. The creator of this pink fiberglass number is oceans away from fashion design. He's a boat builder. You see more and more of the fashion industry collaborating with other industries, again, so that we have a way to think outside of our normal parameters. Obviously, unless you're palling around with Lady Gaga, you're not likely to find someone strutting down the street in cathedral couture or in a labyrinth of lace. But that's not the point, Cauldron says. It's a starting point. Obviously, this is the, the uh, sort of outrageous far extent of fashion, but how does it tie to the heart of what fashion is? If you pull yourself out of the commerce of fashion, um, then you know, the commerce can't keep moving without new ideas and innovation and new ways of looking at it, because ultimately it's clothing. So don't worry, you don't have to bring the sensation to the crustacean just yet. Jared Bowen, WGBH News. The World of Wearable Art exhibition is at the Peabody Essex Museum through mid-June. For more information, visit them online at PEM.org.